Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, my first video, which I have one of my little buddies, Spongy, here. It's a new face. Mm, I'm not really a random person. I just build with Play-Doh. Today I'm going to show you a plimp, how to build a plimp. And you got to get yourself prepared. to build like me because some of these things I had to practice sometimes which let's get it I got damn it's a lovely book I just got it today and it was on a flyer of one of my book collections actually so then I'm going to show you how to build a plan and um if you don't know what a plume is, if you ever heard of the Hindenburg disaster, that's what it is. So, you gotta get it into this like, shape. All you just have to do is like grab it and then like put it around the little stuff and then just roll it on the table. Then you have to get this little block. All you just have to do is like grab a little piece of Play Doh and then like do this. And then, like that, and then you need this little bottom for the bottom of this. So, yeah. But then I'll show you how to actually make it. So, once you have this, just connect it. This, and don't worry that it will mix. It won't. It comes off a piece of cake and nothing. So don't worry about mix. Just place it on carefully and grab this. And place it on the bottom. And there. But now I'm going to show you how to actually make it. Just wait up. I'm trying to set up my camera. This camera does not want to work. God, I hate my camera so much. Anyways, I'm just leave it like this. Okay, so you gotta grab this. But first, you need to take it in pieces if you have it in pieces. Like, if it turns out like this, no problem. All you just do is roll it up. But you gotta mostly do it on the table. Like, shake your hand around if, like, like, like this. Well, you spread out your fingers and then do that. And then you roll it up like that. It may look like a little face, but you may have to do it. A, you may have to redo it a couple of times. I have practiced uh, before I made this video. I practiced like twelve times to make this plume, so it's maybe challenging to do this. But you get the gist of this. And this. Then when this is in pieces like this, all you just gotta do is do this, put it between your fingers, and then that, and that, this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then this. And then, this. then just put it around. It more like a square, like right now, mine doesn't look like a square, it looks like a bit of carrot. So then, when it turns out like this, you just stick it on to this, and then, then once you've done that, get the fingers, and now it's time for the final step. 
you have to have this. Just curl it up in a little ball. Do the same thing what you did with the other thing that goes on the circular ball. And then that. And then once you stick it on, try to fix it a little. And there. That's how you make your little own plum. Plum. Because it fell apart. I'll be back. <sighs> I'm actually wearing shoes with my pajamas. Just went to the store right now. Don't want to take it off. So, yeah. So, once you have the gist of this, have fun. Maybe show family members if they want to be challenged. So I think tomorrow I may be making a burrito, like a little burrito. And I'll be using this really old Play-Doh that I had. So yeah, so that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!